So here's my problem. You can just barely see the infrared light. Totally dark. Now here's the same exact spot, same exact camera during the day. You can see way out there. Okay, so I got my IR illuminators from Amazon. This is the JC210 uh, 210 foot infrared illuminator and this is the Vicklin IR illuminator uh, VK B151D12 so I'm just gonna open these up JC, that's the Vicklin. This one has some stats with it. The JC shows where to put the illuminator, where to put the camera, so on and so forth. Actually has some installation hardware. see that the Vicklin cord is a little bit longer same has the same cord has the same mounting bracket this one has 20 lights this one has 15 lights they're relatively the same size along with that order I got some splitters this was short, five short splitters. And these splitters are have a little bit longer, two, a little bit longer. So this is the area that we're looking at. And basically the reason why I believe the infrared on the camera, which is two stories in the air, doesn't do it sufficiently is it's a bullet camera and there's a lot of distance. There's a lot of open space. So so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the light somewhere in the vicinity of the camera, there it is, somewhere in the vicinity of the camera and follow the recommendations of a blog post that I read which is point the light in the same direction as the camera but I've got plenty of soffit to put it in and my connections are right there so the first thing I'm going to do before I do all that is I'm going to test I'm going to test it inside just to make sure that I've got power. Okay, so I have my light with my plug, my, my power splitter, camera. I'm just going to run a test. Power. One's going to go to the camera. And one's going to go to the light. So the camera's on. And the light's on. This camera's not going to see the infrared, but it sees the 
red glow. I have to cover up the photo cell with my finger to get it to turn on. Okay, so we got power. You have to take off the bracket in order to install the light. You have to install the bracket first and then screw on the light. Here I put a board so I could put both lights up at the same time side by side. All right, so I'm all wired up waiting for the dark. So here I've got both lights up side by side, best I could, same angle as the camera. Here's all the wires. It looks like a rat's nest, but it's really just for testing purposes. So here we are just getting started, very dark. You can see the infrared lights in the camera. The infrared on the camera actually shines on the lights a little bit, but doesn't really mess up the test. So I just turned on the JC210. As you can see, it's a little bit of a spotlight. I was expecting a little more flood type, but it is what it is. As you can see, the infrared on the camera is very faint and very focused. So now we're going to switch it up and turn on the Viculin. So the Viculin seems to be a lot more spread out and less focused than the JC210. And it seemed like when I turned it on, it wouldn't turn right on. I had to kind of put my finger over the photo sensor to get it to turn on. But once it got turned on, I I liked it. It definitely uh, spread out to a good area. So I started making some adjustments and to see if I could spread the light out a little bit and see what I could see. Keep in mind that I can barely see anything. All I can see is the glow of the those infrared lights. It's pitch black outside right now. Adjusting a little bit more, just trying to get the light so I can maximize it with the with the view of the camera.
So turning back on the JC210, it's definitely uh, a spotlight, but it seems to be very powerful. So the 210 foot is, I would suspect, right on, but it's definitely very focused. This is definitely a great improvement from what was there. And I plugged it right into my existing wiring so I didn't have to run any, any new wires to my camera or to the light. I just had to get a splitter. That's, that's the only thing that I had to get. Um, and you just have to make sure that you get one at the correct length or, or get an extension because your camera and the light may be at a place where where you just need more wire so I took down my mock station where I had the board and now I've just got one light the one that I like and I've got the ladder handy so I can adjust it I'm waiting for it to get dark so I can test it out. All right, it's almost dark enough to start looking at it. This camera can't see that light at all. There it is right there. Very interesting. It's definitely on. All right, we're going to see if a GoPro can see the infrared light. I believe Well, it's seeing more than my other camera did, that's for sure. So I think it's just seeing the bulb bulbs I don't think it's seeing the the actual light that's coming off of it very interesting hey, I can't see it so I don't think my cameras clicked over yet. So now the view has changed just a little bit because I have installed the light beside the camera now and I'm able to adjust the angle a little bit. So I've chosen the Viklin as the permanent install. So now I'm just walking around, uh, testing the view, seeing uh, what we can see. But uh, you can see we can see way out there. Just continuing to adjust the angle, and I've just about got it where I want it.
So now I'm starting to play with the JC210 from another angle um, and viewing it from another camera and just trying to see if I can uh, do some distance tests with it. It's definitely uh, very bright and very focused. Okay, here we are back with the JC210, just in a different spot where I can uh, handle it and just move it around wherever I want. Definitely puts out some light. Because there is no light. Can't see it at all. Not see that light. Currently, that area is lit up because there's a porch light and there's a motion detection floodlight. Uh, behind the camera so that's why the area is lit up real good right now but normally when all those lights are out this is another dark area that I'll be putting a light an infrared light an extra infrared light Those three palm trees in the distance is about 72 feet from the light. Now all the other lights are out and it's just the extra infrared light to the JC210. So now we're just looking at the JC210 to see uh, some distance and just kind of playing around uh, by hand. And as you can see, it definitely has some distance with that with that spotlight so it definitely has some applications uh, but I don't think I'm gonna be using it in mine So here's what the light looks like permanently installed and at the angle you last saw it, the Vicky Lynn. And here's the two lights side by side. They had the same specs on Amazon, so I'm not real sure why one's like that, but it is what it is. For what I'm looking for, I'm definitely choosing the Vicky Lynn to permanently install.